court is calling 2023 CR 3225, State of Texas versus Deborah Aguilar. Can I have parties announced for the record for the state? Uh, Daniel Escobar for the state of Texas. Defense. Eddie Garcia, you're on. And are you Deborah Aguilar? Yes, sir. Counsel, have you received all the discovery and did you review it with your client? I did. Court will find that the state is in compliance with discovery. Ms. Aguilar, I'm showing you what's entitled application for, pro for probation. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes. Showing you what's entitled true bill of indictment. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes. Counsel, do you waive the reading of the indictment? I do. State, are you proceeding on the indictment as presented? Uh, judge, we're waiving paragraph A and proceeding on paragraph. Any objection? None. Ms. Aguilar, I'm showing you what's entitled court admonishments and defendants waivers and affidavit of admonitions. Did you review that document with your attorney? Did you understand it? Did you sign it in all the appropriate places? Yes, I did. Did you understand you're charged with the offense of burglary of a habitation with intent to commit assault? That is a second degree felony. Range of punishment is anywhere from two to 20 years in prison and up to a $10,000 fine. Yes. If you have a plea bargain agreement with the state, the court does not have to follow your plea. If for any reason the court does not follow your plea and gives you more than you bargained for, the fact that you entered a plea will not be used against you and you will be allowed to withdraw your plea. Did you understand? Yes, ma'am. Do you believe she has a rational as well as a factual understanding of the charges against her? I do. Do you believe she's currently competent and was legally sane at the time of the offense? Yes. Ms. Aguilar, has anyone threatened you, coerced you, or placed you in fear to get you to enter this plea? No, ma'am. Has anyone promised you anything other than the plea? No. Are you satisfied with the way you've been represented? Yes. Are you a U.S. citizen? Yes, ma'am. Court will find that defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived her right to jury trial, showing you the plea bargain page. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes. According to plea, punishment is to be assessed at five years in prison. There's a $500 fine. There is no application for deferred adjudication. The state recommends community supervision. They will take in consideration 2023 CR 3225. There's restitution to be payable to Angel Garza in Days Inn at 9401 IH35 North, San Antonio, Texas 78233. Did you understand that to be the plea? Yes, sir. Defense? Yes, Your Honor. State? Yes, Your Honor. Showing you the paragraph entitled Waiver of Appeal Paragraph. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, ma'am. Did you understand by signing that you're waiving your right to appeal? The only items that can be appealed are written pretrial motions that have been filed, heard, and ruled upon by the court. Did you understand? Yes, ma'am. Counsel, are there any such motions? No, Your Honor. Next, I'm showing you outside the plea bargain agreement. State is requesting a tap evaluation, no contact with Angel Garza in days in at 9401 IH35 North. Did you understand those are recommendations from the state and the court does not have to follow those recommendations? Yes, ma'am. Then to the offenses charge, how do you plead? Guilty, not guilty, or no contest? Guilty. State any evidence? State offer states to the one in all attachments. Any objection? No, uh, State, you may be excused. Gotcha. Yes, court will find that defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived and consented to stipulation of testimony and stipulations. Court will accept into evidence states exhibits one in attachments or review the same. I'll the record for a moment. Yeah. It's um. One she pled to was three, two, two, six. The other one set for June the 6th. Okay. With the state bill, what both falls on. Thank you. And there's that. All right, we're back on the record. Oh, could I have a thought back? All right, after reviewing state's exhibits one in attachments, the court will find there is sufficient evidence to find you guilty and the court will find you guilty. Are we proceeding with sentencing? Yes, Your Honor. Anything you wish to say on behalf of your client? Or the acceptance of responsibility, Your Honor. This is the first setting. Mm -hmm. uh, she accepted responsibility. She's been in jail for five months awaiting a court appearance. Uh, I guess what I can tell you is in a nutshell is that this incident is a result of jealousy. Uh, that involved, uh, 
her companion, who she thought was flirting with the male that happened to be in the motel room where the incident occurred. She understands uh, what she did. Um, ready to move on and ask the court to follow the plea agreement. All right. Do you have any children? Yes, ma'am. What are their ages? Ten and three. And where are they? One is one up for adoption, actually, and my my ten year olds with my mom. So even though your counsel is telling me this was out of jealousy, I don't understand how this translates to throwing a potted plant through a window at a hotel. I reacted out of anger. I didn't. It was. Do you have any drug issues? Um, I do drink. I have drinking problems. All right. Is that all? You have an alcohol problem. What else? Just alcohol. Then why did your, was Child Protective Services involved with uh, your children? Uh, well, my first one, yes, but why? I, was, I was on heroin back then. I had been off of it for nine years. Okay. And who is this person that you're going to with the hotel with? I was living in the hotel. Okay. I why are you living in a hotel? I was selling drugs. I'm sorry? I was selling drugs. Okay. Well, I don't think your attorney wanted you to say that, but okay. I told you to be honest with you, Judge. I know you uh, appreciate honesty. I do. All right, this is what we're going to do. The court is going to sentence you to five years uh, in the prison. I'm going to suspend it and probate it for six years. There's a $500 fine. That will be probated. We're going to do a TAP evaluation in custody. And whatever the TAP evaluation recommends, that's what it's going to be. Uh, if the uh, TAP evaluation recommends that there be no treatment, I'm going to want at least supportive outpatient treatment. Take in consideration 2023 CR 3225. There's to be no unsupervised contact with minors restitution and no contact with Angel Garza and days in. And that's just not the days in on 9401. That's all days in. So you're going to have to find another hotel. You understand? Yes, There's to be a regular reporting by Zoom or in person. The UA hotline until further notice, and that's going to be with weekly testing. How far did you go in school? I did eight eight months, and I have four months left. Well, what do you no mean? school. Oh, like did you graduate? I'm a GED. All right, what are you planning on doing with the rest of your life? I was going to school for phlebotomy. For what? Phlebotomy. All right, so they're yeah, so they're letting you take blood at the hospital. And you have a drug issue? I have a um, Well, I will tell you, anything that requires a license, they're going to check to see if you have a record. So uh, I don't mean to crush anybody's hopes and dreams, but don't just be spending money and not realizing that there are certain professions that you're not going to be allowed to do. Proof of employment within 30 days. There's to be no employment as a home health care provider or with minors. Field visits. What is that? One time per month until further notice. Uh, probation. Is there anything else she needs? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I forgot the um, community service hours. 180 hours of community service restitution. I'm going to ask for parenting classes with raindrops and rainbows. Once she completes that, uh, then the community service hours will be deemed to be satisfied. Is there anything else you need from the court to be successful? No, ma'am. All right, I'm showing you what's entitled trial court certification of defendant's rights to appeal. Did you review that document with your attorney? Did you understand it? Did you sign it in all the appropriate places? Yes, ma'am. All right, because this is a plea bargain agreement, because I followed your plea bargain agreement, and because you waive your right to appeal, you do not have the court's permission to appeal. Do you understand? 
Yes, sir. And because this is a felony conviction, you're not allowed to own or possess any weapons or ammunition. If you have a question over what a weapon or ammunition is, you'll need to speak to an attorney. Do you understand? Yes. All right, we can go off the record to be successful on probation in this court requires communication. If there's an issue, talk to your probation officer. If you feel they're not addressing it, you can come back to the court. You understand? Yes. You're going to have to start changing your life instead of just thinking somebody else is going to take care of your children. They're taking care of your children because you have fallen down on the job. You're going to have to do better. You understand? Yes. All right, good luck to you. Thank you. Judge, uh, I'm sure she'd like to know I'll ask on behalf how quick the turnaround would be for the tax evaluation. Uh, probation will be able to tell you that. Thank you. Your defense Anthony Cantrell for the defendant. are you mr hawkins counsel you received all the discovery did you review it with your client yes your honor court will find that the state is in compliance with discovery I'm going to show you what's entitled true bill of indictment did you review that with your attorney did you understand it yes ma'am counsel do you weigh the reading of the indictment yes your honor state do you have any amendments to the indictment no your honor Yes. Yes. We're keeping the enhancement. Yes. All right. Do you want to see the indictment, counsel? Yes, we do have an amendment, Your Honor. The bold, the bold print. This is the change. Yes, we do have that amendment, Your Honor. All right. Any objection to the state's amendment? No objections. Mr. Hawkins, do you have any objection to the amendment? No, and the court will note that the amendment was uh, placed on the record on April 3rd, 2023 and signed by Judge Jefferson Moore. All right, uh, state, are you proceeding on the indictment as presented? We are, Your Honor. Mr. Hawkins, I'm showing you what's entitled court admonishments and defendants waivers and affidavit of admonitions. Did you review that document with your attorney? Did you understand it? Did you sign it in all the appropriate places? Uh, you're being charged by indictment with possession of a controlled substance penalty group one less than one gram the state is proceeding on a as a repeater therefore the range of punishment if the repeat enhancement allegation is proven to be true will not be 180 days up to two years it will be anywhere from two to ten years in prison and up to ten thousand dollar fine did you understand if you have a plea of bargain with the state the court does not have to follow your plea if for any reason the court doesn't follow your plea and gives you more than you bargained for, the fact that you entered a plea will not be used against you and you will be allowed to withdraw your plea. Did you understand? Yes. Did you understand you have a right to jury trial, a right for you or your attorney to cross-examine and confront any witnesses the state would call and the right to remain silent? Did you understand by entering this plea bargain agreement you were giving up those rights? And did you intend to give up those rights and enter into a plea in this case? Counsel, has your client been able to provide you with any defenses? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Do you believe he has a rational as well as a factual understanding of the charges against him? Yes, Your Honor. Do you believe he's currently competent and was legally sane at the time of the offense? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Hawkins, has anyone threatened you, coerced you, or placed you in fear to get you to enter this plea? Has anyone promised you anything other than the plea? Are you satisfied with the way you've been represented? Yes, ma'am. Are you a U.S. citizen? Yes, Court will find that defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived his right to jury trial, showing you the plea bargain page. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? According to the plea bargain agreement, punishment is to be assessed at two years in the prison. State will take in consideration night mag number 7910157908470847, county court cause number 6990750076 and 077. Did you understand that to be the plea? Defense? Yes, Your Honor. State? It is, Your Honor. Showing you the paragraph entitled waiver of appeal paragraph. Did you review that paragraph with your attorney? Did you understand it? Did you sign it in both places? Then to the offenses charged, how do you plead? Guilty, not guilty, or no contest? And to the repeat enhancement allegations, how do you plead? Guilty, not, I'm sorry, true or not true? True. All right, state any evidence to support the defendant's plea of no contest and the plea of true to the repeat offender enhancement allegations? Yes, Your Honor. Did exhibit in the form of office attachments? No objections. All right, state, you may be excused. Court will accept into evidence states exhibits one and attachments and review the same.
All right, after reviewing state's exhibits one and attachments, the court will find there is sufficient evidence to find you guilty and the court will find you guilty. Are you proceeding with sentencing? Yes, Your Honor. Anything you wish to say on behalf of your client? Your Honor, uh, we'd ask the court to follow the plea bargain. I believe that uh, my client has learned from his past mistakes. Hopefully at this point in time, we'll turn his life around. We'd ask that we follow the plea bargain. All right. Uh, the court will find you guilty. The court will find the re repeater uh, offender enhancement allegation true based upon your plea of true and based upon state's exhibits one and attachments. The court will sentence you to two years in the prison. Give you credit for any time served. Taking consideration night bag number 7910157908470847. County court cause number 699075, 076, and 077. Anything else from either side with regards to sentencing? No, Your Honor, just said all the cases went in front. Oh, they've been taken in consideration? Yes. Okay, no problem. Showing you what's entitled trial court certification of defendant's rights to appeal. Did you review that document with your attorney? Did you understand it and did you sign it? Yes, ma'am. All right, we can go off the record. How old are you? 41. You're getting close to being in the twilight of your life. You're gonna have to make some changes, you understand? All right, good luck to you. Thanks, Judge. You're welcome. Who's here on Stephen Smith? We're ready, Your Honor. Thank you. Thank you, Judge. How are you doing this morning? Good morning, Your Honor. I'm doing well. How are you? Oh, I'm doing great, Mr. Cox. Hello. Judge, where do you want the inmate? Uh, in the middle. Excuse me. All right, everyone. We're on the record, so there should be no uh, talking behind the court reporter. Court is calling 2020 CR 5003, State of Texas versus Stephen Allen Smith. Can I have parties announced for the record for the state? Travis Banks for the State of Texas. Defense? I'm here, Memorial, Your Honor. And are you Stephen Allen Smith? Yes, ma'am. Mr. Smith, I'm going to show you what's entitled Motion to Revoke Community Supervision and First Amendment Motion to Revoke Community Supervision. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, ma'am. Yes, I did. Are you the same Stephen Allen Smith who was placed on community supervision in 2022 CR 5003 for the offense of assault, family choking, strangulation on September 20, 2022 for a term of five years? Is that you? Yes, ma'am. All right, State. Violated condition number four in Bear County, Texas, the defendant, Stephen Allen Smith, the defendant there, failed to report to the supervision officer as directed for the months of November, December 2022 in violation of condition number four. How do you plead to that? True or not true? True, Your Honor. The state will waive and abandon the further allegations. No objection. All right, Mr. Smith, did you understand by pleading true to violation of condition number four? Court could find it true, grant the motion, and send it to you to five years in the prison. Did you understand? Yes, ma'am. Knowing that, do you still wish to plead true to violation of condition number four? Yes, ma'am. Court will find violation of condition number four true. Is there an agreement? Yes, Your Honor. The agreement is uh, that you grant the motion, revoke the defendant's probation, sentence the defendant to three years in TDC, and taking that into consideration, the state will make a motion to dismiss on cause number uh, seven zero, county cause number 707669 and grand jury number 797070. All right, so state, I'm just writing that down. And those numbers you're calling out were very quick. <laughs> so can you imagine <laughs> the court reporter? We're supposed to be making everybody's job easy today. So what cause numbers are you taking in consideration? My apologies, Your Honor. Uh, that is county cause number 707669 and grand jury number 797070. Oh, I got it right. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Is that the agreement? Yes, Your Honor. Are you asking the court to follow this agreement, Mr. Smith? Yes, ma'am. Are you waiving your right to appeal? Yes, ma'am. All right, probation. Uh, has he done anything on probation other than not report? Your Honor. No. All right, what have you done? I have not done anything for probation. Or... All right, can you raise your right hand for me, please? Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you give will be the truth and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Yes, ma'am. All right, you can lower your hand, state your name for the record. Stephen Allen Smith. All right, why have you done nothing for probation? Um, I had a uh, 
drug issue and didn't want to go into a report to uh, take drug tests, so I just didn't go. See, I don't understand that because I allow people to uh, communicate if they have issues. If people have a drug issue, I'm like, come in, let the court know. We will get you treatment. Uh, probation? Yes, Your Honor. He just he, he reported for his initial so what do you think you deserve? I can give you up to five years. Um, I would like to give a chance to be, you know, to uh, uh, Everyone, please whisper. We're on the record. I'd like to give you a chance um, to, to go into the three years in PDC and then come out and become a, a contributing member of society and uh, turn my life around. All right, this is what the court is gonna do. Court is um, gonna grant the motion. There's an affirmative finding of family violence taking consideration 707669, grand jury number 797070. And I'm gonna send you to four years in the prison and give you credit for any time served. Mr. Smith, the problem is you did nothing. I mean, you really should be receiving the five years because you did nothing except for, for report one time. You understand? I'm gonna show you what's entitled uh, trial court certification of defendant's rights to appeal. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, yes ma'am. All right, this is not a plea bargain agreement. You do have a right to appeal. That right to appeal, is as it relates to the allegation in the motion, not the fact that you were on probation. Do you understand? Yes, All right, because this is a felony conviction, because there's an affirmative finding of family violence, you're not allowed to own or possess any weapons or ammunition. If you have a question over what a weapon or ammunition is, you'll need to speak to an attorney. Do you understand? Yes, uh, if you have a drug issue, if you want, I can recommend you for the therapeutic community. It doesn't increase the time that you're in custody, uh, but if you're accepting the program, they can help you with any drug issues you have. Would you like me to recommend the therapeutic community? Yes, sir. All right, so you're still gonna have to request it though. You understand? Yes, sir. All right, good luck to you. Do better, all right? Judge, before we go, I, yes. I wanna make sure that uh, Mr. Smith is aware of this. The court sentenced me to four years. That's within the discretion of the court, correct? Right? Yes. Just want to make sure that's clear. All right, thank, thank you. you Maybe excuse. Me. Yes. Thank you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. What's your issue? Um, I did. I have a conflict of interest then with uh, Mr. Martina. I wrote to the state bar that last week because um he hasn't. We just I guess we can't come to agreement. He hasn't followed. Uh, now here's motion. the thing. This is what people always assume. People always think that they're qualified to be an attorney. You know why? And I discovered this from my time as a defense attorney and a prosecutor. They think that they can be attorney because they think all we do is talk. Now, you're about to say he didn't file some motion. Well, guess what? The state is obligated to turn over certain evidence for him. People always say, well, I want evidence that's favorable to me. The defense can file a motion asking for Brady material, but guess what? The state has to turn it over. And whether he files the motion or not, asking for them to turn over ev evidence that's favorable, they still have to do it, right? Okay. Now, what I've discovered is sometimes people get made an offer, they don't like that offer. And they take that out on their attorney because the attorney is saying, hey, this is what the state is offering. But sometimes the person's like, well, I don't want that. I want something else. Your counsel cannot force the state to give you what they want. When the state makes an offer, you can think that offer is ridiculous. You can say it's ridiculous. Although I ask people not to do that because I want everybody to be kind to each other in this court. You can just say, you're not gonna accept that. And then you know what? Your attorney will go to the state and say, the offer you made, he's not accepting it. Then you can say, well, I won't accept this offer, but this is what I will accept, which is called a counter offer. Then your, your attorney can go to the state and the state can think or say that's a ridiculous offer. But again, I encourage people not to do that because I want everybody to be kind. And they can say, I'm not going to make him that offer. Then guess what? You go to jury trial, the end. 
There is no being disrespectful to people. I always tell people, even if you don't like somebody, even if you don't appreciate what they're saying to you, there's no need to be disrespectful to each other. He has a job to do. He's trying to do his job. The state have their job to do. They're trying to do their job. I'm trying to do my job. The court reporter is doing her job and everybody just want to have a nice day. So sometimes we don't get what we want and then you have a choice to make. And your choice is either you're going to jury trial or you're not. Either you're accepting the state's offer or you're not. The state has tendered their offer and that's their offer. And unless they decide to change it, that's the offer. And then when people have a counsel that is appointed to them, guess what? If you don't want your court appointed counsel, you can have anybody you want. You go out and hire them. I don't know why we've gotten to the point in this world where people want stuff for free and they want people to give them stuff for free. Oh, I don't like that one. You know, it's like if I go to the restaurant and they want to offer me free food and they say, you know what? You don't have any money. You're asking for free food. And I say, well, I don't want the rice that you're giving me. I want the steak and lobster. I don't want that sandwich. So this is your court appointed attorney. He's qualified to be your court appointed attorney. Now, if you would like to hire another attorney, you're more than welcome to do so. So are you going to hire an attorney? That's what I was meant to ask. You under, um, I got, my bond was, was uh, I'm moving back No, we're not work. talking about a bond. We're talking about whether or not you want to hire an attorney. I'd like to be able to, if I can get out and, and, mm -hmm. and purchase one uh, or hire yeah. one. And Your Honor, if I may, it has nothing to do with, with anything you have said. It has to do with personal. In the 27 years that I've been practicing, I've never been treated the way that Mr. Reyes has treated me. The names he's called me, I'm not. I'm. I'm not going to help him. I'm not going to do anything further for him. It's ridiculous that he he's treated me the way he's treated me, and I don't deserve to be treated the way he has treated me. So if you keep me on, I'm not going to do lift one finger for him. I'm sorry. I've been doing this for 27 years. I'm old, and I don't have to put up with you. You're not old. Nobody's old. Well, I'm, I'm older than than I was 30 years ago. <laughs> and so I don't need to put up with his with his shenanigans. And so he needs to either be appointed someone else that is going to put up with his, for lack of a better word, BS, or, or represent himself. All right. You want to represent yourself? You want to hire an attorney? Let's hire an attorney. All right, uh, I'll, uh, we're gonna go on the record. We're on the record in 2022. I, I, C I, can't, I can't afford an attorney if I, I guess I just represent myself. All right, we're on the record in 2022 CR4920, State of Texas versus Raul Reyes. Uh, the court is in receipt of a motion to withdraw. State, do you have any objections to defense counsel's motion to withdraw? No objections, Your Honor. Uh, Mr. Reyes, do you have any objections to his withdrawing? No. All right. That will be granted. Thank you. Thank you, Judge. May I ask the question? And uh, Mr. Reyes, uh, we're going to recall your case in two weeks. Ms. Ferguson, what's the two week reset date? April 10th. All right, we're going to bring you back on April 10th. All right, thank you. We're off the record. And is there a way I can get reconsideration on, on the bond that I've been paying for that was remanded? Like, like no. You'll have to file a motion. Okay. All right. Thank you.